I wanted to uh, start off the second set a little differently and uh, sort of ease into the second set a little bit. We got about six more songs left, and uh, but uh, wanted to uh, do some uh, some of the music that I had spent many years and many hours in my bedroom uh, playing instrumentally. Uh, this is uh, a song I want to dedicate to my daughter, <laughs> who surprised me tonight. She's been away at college all year. And uh, I wrote this song and I, I dedicated it to her and we used it for her um, video for her um, 12th grade uh, graduation from high school. We, we put this uh, to a track of a picture of her in her whole life. And I call this uh, Somewhere in Time. <clears throat>
the uh, last song was uh, in an altered tuning. Uh, in Hawaii, uh, they call that slack key guitar, where you uh, tune the guitar to a, a different tuning. That was actually in a, a DAG ad tuning, uh, DAD, DAG, if you're a guitar player. <clears throat> uh, this. This is uh, in an open G tuning, and uh, <laughs> this is one of the first altered tunings that I used growing up. So I don't use it much, right? <laughs> and uh, before I play this song, I'd like to uh, bring out on stage uh, a dear friend of mine. The reason that I got into the music business or that I started playing professionally was going through a really hard time in my life. <laughs> and uh, I had just walked off my job. I had no job. And I really had just pretty much lost everything after... Um, I went through a, a divorce and I uh, was, was very depressed. And uh, the only joy I had in my life at that moment was, was music. I went home to my apartment and it was the only thing in my apartment that, that represented a smile. And uh, I didn't know what to do. So I called my buddy Tim Bowie and, uh, and he says, uh, well, why don't you come to Norway with me? And uh, it sounded like the logical thing to do, actually. You know, I was like, <laughs> it's not working out for me over here. <laughs> and uh, so I don't know who was crazier, him for asking or me for saying yes. Uh, but uh, this next song is uh, one that I wrote when I was 17. And Tim loves this song. And I thought I'd have him play uh, with it on me. I'm going to start the song out. And then halfway through the song, we're going to kick into a tune that he absolutely loves called Peter Pan. So give a warm welcome to my dear friend, Tim Bowie.
a child a dream a fantasy to climb over mountains and back to sail over once through the wind in my back to feel that I don't like and zap because I am Peter Pan With my feet on the ground I don't make a sound But make or break I see my mistake I knew my love for her was fake And now I know it was for mercy's sake Because I am Peter Pan Oh, it wasn't too long ago I was in a disaster Childhood dream, a fantasy to climb over mountains and back to sail over once through the wind in my back. Do you feel that I don't like? I can zap because I'm Peter Pan. I'm the man with a plan. And um, before we let uh, Tim get off the stage, I, I've told many people about my friend Tim Bowie. <laughs> and uh, Tim is uh, one of the top gun dueling pianists around the country. He is somebody who is sought after highly. Uh, he works currently on Bourbon Street in New Orleans. Uh, but he travels all over the country. I think he was in New York recently. He was uh, in Savannah, Georgia. He was in Charleston, South Carolina. I mean, he goes all over the place. And uh, I thought, since you guys were kind enough to come here tonight, I would give you a sample as to why he is so incredibly sought after. So I'm going to turn the stage over just for one song to Tim Bowie and let him dazzle you with his magic. I want to move some of this stuff out of the way so these people are ready to see Let me uh, first to say uh, thanks for being such a, uh, a great host. Chris, I can't tell you how much I love you. My family loves you. My mother and father, who are no longer on earth, loved you as their own son. Kind of our adopted son, or kind of my adopted brother. We've been best friends about 35 years. As I, Tim Conley in the, in the front row near Wilmington, too, our dear friend for many years, Tim. God bless you. As he came to Norway that day, <laughs> if you remember, I played a piano bar in Oslo. I rented a bus. We had around 35 extremely drunk Norwegians waiting for Chris with Chris Foster, we love you signs. Is that true? Is that true? We had a cheering section to pick this guy's spirit up, okay? I'm not exaggerating. It's, it's in a, we, 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 we've, we've done things that were, Never envisioned as a child we could do, and it's the beauty and the magic of, of music. And uh, Chris, one word to define you, to find you is music. I love you, my brother. God bless you. And one more thing, and I'll do one song. I didn't know I was going to do a song. Uh, I am the founder and creator of the International Piano Entertainers Convention based out of New Orleans, and I just finished our second one. We asked some of our members from Billy Joel's band there, but uh, I honored Chris last year in front of some big, big people with a Lifetime Achievement Award. So can I get a standing ovation for Chris for that? You did get that, Chris. So, uh, well deserved. Thank you. I had no 
idea I was going to play. Do you want a fast one or a slow one? Yeah, I'll go. Let me do uh, one. Let me do one. Let me do one little boogie boogie song. Just have some fun. Just a little bit. Will it come? Keep, keep going, keep coming. They're yeah, beautiful. God bless you. Yeah, I was just out in Santa Barbara, California playing, and uh, the uh, owner uh, came up and said, Hey, man, whatever you do, stop the show because there's a guy celebrating his 70th birthday. He's a famous guy, and I'm like, Cool. And this old guy with a beard and crutch falls all over me. It's Chris Foster. He came out there and surprised me. <laughs> I, I didn't know I was going to play. I'm just going to. Can I get everybody to get one hand above your head? Can y'all give me one? Can you put your other hand above your head? And clap, 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 clap. Chantilly lace and a pretty face. Ponytail is a hanging now. A wiggle and a walk and a little talk. But it makes the world go round. Like a big eye girl that made me act so funny Spend my money, wanna feel real loose Like a long neck girl I'll keep drinking, folks Well, it feels so good Come on, folks Like a daggone knew it would There ain't nothing in the world Like a big eye girl that made me act so funny Spend my money, wanna feel real loose Like a long neck girl Oh, baby, that's what I like A microphone. I wanted uh, Tim to uh, play on this next song because he he uh, is a big fan of my music and he said this is his favorite song by me and uh, he prefers the guitar tune. Do this. This is a tune I wrote called Rolling Over the Highway. Rolling over the highway, got the wind in my hair while the sun is shining brightly down upon my face. Looking for an adventure Or for any old reason That would lead me on a new exciting chase I can't slow down I still have a lot to see I'm about the whole From sea to 
shining sea Well, I know the highway Well, I know the highway With the top of my car pulled down With the radio was turning back for you Pinky stop in the dashboard Changing radio stations Singing all the songs that are pleasing to my ears From the grips of your existence It doesn't take a miracle It only takes persistence Rolling over the highway Looking for a tomorrow That only yesterday I could not see Skipping through a forever Defining each moment And accepting what it is I'm meant to be Heading to the future With a dream punched in my hands Arriving at the destiny of what it is I am Pulling over the highway All right, again, Tim Bowie, thank you, buddy. Bring Tom back out here. equipment change here and uh, again uh, thank you again so much for all being here this has uh, been a wonderful um, uh, a night I want to uh, do this song and then I've got some uh, special recognition I want to uh, to do and then we'll do two songs after that and then uh, we'll let you guys go home <laughs> but uh, again how about a, another big hand for the band and all the guest musicians here tonight This song has been with me for about 13, 14 years, and uh, I, uh, I really credit this for being one of the more influential songs. Even though I've never released it, there's a story in it, the program about it. I'll let you read it, but uh, uh, I just could not uh, do a show without doing this song. And uh, it's going to feature Rob Foster again on uh, this uh, the song called If I Could Write a Love Song. In the garden by the lattice gate Was a place I took your hand We walked for hours then we fell in love We were so easy to understand A life has led me to another time Where words of love are hard to share Songs of love that I used to sing I've gotten lost somewhere in midair But if I just write a love song I know my heart is on the mend Words that used to flow so easy Are like a long forgotten friend Waiting for that fateful day When my song of love's too silent And you wander on your way We used to swim together in the sun And stroll away the hour And we'd 
stop along the road tonight And I'd stop and pick you flowers It's so sad to see your love grow cold Somewhere our love got swept away When I look into your eyes at night You are a million miles away My heart was on the mend Words that used to flow so easy Are like a long forgotten friend And I'm going through the motion Waiting for that fateful day When my song loves to silence you wander on your way on the man Words that used to flow so easy Are like a long forgotten friend And I'm going through the motion Waiting for that fateful day With my song of love's to silent And you wander on your way Rob Foster, everybody. Take a moment to uh, thank a, real, a couple people here tonight, uh, and uh, and recognize some people uh, who came a long way. Before I do that, uh, just a, a quick thank you uh, to uh, Mark Valentine over here, who's doing our sound tonight. Also, Chris back in the sound booth in the very back corner. I'd like to thank David Haken for videotaping tonight. I'd like to thank Mariah Ruth Photography. Where's she at? Oh, there she is. <laughs> Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Mariah Ruth, thank you for taking the pictures. How about a super big hand for my lovely wife, Sean, over here. Oh, there she is. For a minute there, I thought Greg was my wife, but uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, it takes a village. So many of uh, my friends here I, I know from Unity. So many people I got some friends here from Leavenworth, uh, and uh, just uh, some, some people here from Iowa. My dear friends, Villager. So what an honor, uh, Joe. So great to see you. And Gene, everybody, Mike and Mary, so awesome. Everybody, I mean, it's, I could just go on and on and on. I'm so touched to have everybody here um, that uh, have been my friends for a long time. Uh, I'd like to recognize four people specifically, though. Uh, I'd like to start out with my dear friend, Charlotte. If you'll come on up here, Charlotte. <laughs> She's like, what the hell are you doing? Uh, 
These are people who have been with me from the very, very, very beginning of my songwriting career. And Charlotte was one of those friends who, even when I was 16, 17 years old, I mean, I practically lived at her house. I mean, her, I mean, it was like, it's just, I was over there so much, I, I, I was, I had a plate at the dinner table. And <laughs> I really, that's no truth, there's no lie. And, uh, but Charlotte and I, uh, we've been friends, uh, I think since 10th grade, and she was always, uh, we were in a guitar class together. She, she was, was taking guitar. guitar. I learned how to play guitar, and she didn't. And, um, <laughs> and she always encouraged me, she says, Chris, you're, you're such a great songwriter. You need to be a songwriter. You need to be a songwriter. She really, and she's always been my groupie, and she's still my groupie. And, and I'm just hoping that one day she gets a life, you know, so. <laughs> So this is called the Get a Life Award. Now, this is a, a, a plaque that just says, good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know they're always there. And I know that Charlotte's always there, and I love you very much. I wasn't prepared to say anything, but I would like you to know that he's my brother from another mother, okay? Um, we've been friends forever. He's my rock. When I'm in trouble, this is the guy I call, okay? When he is in trouble, I'm the person he calls. And he's, when we were in the 10th, when I was in the 10th grade, he was in the 11th, and he came in and he played Yes for me, Tales from a Topographic Ocean. I went, oh my gosh. <laughs> It was, it was mine, it was, a, it was a changing, it was a defining moment in my life. Um, Chris is that kind of guy that has the perception to see into people's souls that you don't normally see in dudes, okay? <laughs> he has that ability to, to speak to you in a way that is, is he just cuts through the chase and he gets to the point and he's he's really really good at it and he's he's lovely he's a lovely lovely thank man you, thank you, my dear. Thank you. the next person i'd like to recognize is my oldest friend here uh, my dear friend lynn who grew up in wilmington and uh, she lives now lives in nashville tennessee <clears throat> and so lynn come on up here and uh I gotta say, uh, <laughs> Lynn was the very first person that I ever accompanied, uh, accompanied as a musician. She used to go to a different high school than me. She went to the Crosstown High School, New Hanover High School. I went to Hoggard High School. And I skipped school one day so I could go over and help her pass her choral exam. And I never got in trouble. I don't even know how we got away with it because they were like, you know, we were just maybe just a little bit luckier back then. But, uh, but. Uh, I got A plus. <laughs> <laughs> so I met Lynn in the eighth grade. And uh, in the ninth grade, I asked her if she would marry me. And she says, Chris, I want somebody with a real job. So. <laughs> Lynn is probably one of the sweetest people I've ever known in my life. Uh, just a dear, sweet soul, and I can't tell you how much I love you. You're wonderful. I love you too. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'd rather you not. Uh, <laughs> wanted to say that everything Charlotte said was absolutely the truth. Um, Chris is that way with me, oh, whoops, sorry, um, too. And I was riding up here with my son today trying to describe our relationship. And I said, you know, I can just be all tangled up in my head and stressed out and just ready to just scream. And I can call Chris and he just knows exactly what to say <laughs> to just straighten me right out. <laughs> and uh, it's, a, it's a great, great quality that he has. It's a, it's a gift. He is as gifted that way as he is musically. He really is. And um, he's just one of the kindest, 
most just genuine people I have ever met, and I am so thankful for him. Uh, I'll pay her later. Thank you. You've already met this next guy, He's my dear friend, Tim Bowie. Come on up here, buddy. Tim is Tim is cra as crazy as he is talented. Uh, he really is a uh, very very um, energetic guy. Um, I'll, I'll tell you a fact about Tim. Tim at one time was the world record holder for consecutive hours playing the piano. He is so intense that he played the piano for 63 hours and 11 minutes. <laughs> I beat North Korea. <laughs> Guys, I'll be short. Uh, I've been in 42 countries around the world playing piano. I've met hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people. I'm f I just turned 53 in March. There's not a week that I go by that we don't speak once or twice about life issues, advice, communication situations. And I'm telling you, he, he, he's like a MacBook computer when it comes to advice and he's always right and solid. And he knows exactly what my conversation would be with the first word, Chris. And he goes, okay. But uh, Chris, it's not just you, it's the beautiful family that you've raised and the lovely wife, Shauna. Saw Sean yesterday for the first time in years, and I'm telling you, man, the good Lord has blessed blessings upon that family. So can I give a big shout out to Chris and his family? Thanks. And uh, this last guy, although I lean on my dear friends a lot, just like all of you do, and it's just reciprocal to a revolving door. I have to say that this last guy is uh, somebody who uh, I have uh, come to in my darkest hour. Uh, truly somebody who I love, uh, just like a brother. We've been friends since I was 18. Uh, my dear friend, Tim Connolly, he was from Wilmington. He flew in today, from Wil or yesterday, from Wilmington, North Carolina. And uh, I'll tell you about Tim. I met Tim on a basketball court. And you, and you, you see Tim, and he's a... About 5'10", and he's sort of, you know, a skinny guy, and he, he doesn't look intimidating. I'm telling you, this guy has the most incredible jump shot in the history of basketball. And so when I first saw Tim, I thought, yeah, we'll play one-on-one, -on -one. I'll dust this guy. He destroyed me. He destroyed me. And so the only saving grace that I had was I said, I play guitar. <laughs> so I went over to his house. <laughs> And I played him, he says, okay, play me the boxer. And so I played him, <laughs> I played him the boxer and he, he's, he was blown away. And uh, we've been friends ever since. We've written a lot of songs uh, together, believe it or not. He, he's not a musician, but he's uh, been a, a, a poet at heart, a beautiful soul. And I love him like a brother. Tim Connolly, come on up here, buddy. <laughs> He's also the top-rated table tennis player in, uh, in the city of Wilmington, North Carolina. <laughs> well, after all these nice things that everybody else has said, you guys really want to know the truth in the dirt, don't you? <laughs> uh, Chris is, uh, he's actually, uh, the, the first time I ever uh, knew that he could Play with the band was when I got the uh, Island Fever album. It, it came in the mail, and he, I had known him for years and years and years, and I had a lot of respect for his talent. But I got that CD. Oh my gosh, who, who knew? You know, I mean, you, you uh, 
you heard him today with, with this band, how incredible he sounds. And uh, the, the compositions that he's done just really come forth. But uh, I, I want to tell you the, the dirt on him now. There is no dirt. He's just a wonderful guy. Thank you folks for letting me indulge in that and uh, just recognizing these people who came quite a long way. And there's, I know there's a lot of people who have come. Uh, and uh, my daughter, who surprised me today, who had a feeling she was going to do that. I uh, got to thinking about... I almost put this in the program, but uh, this next song is one that uh, I want to dedicate to all of those uh, who are veterans. Uh, I know we have a, a dear friend Sharon over here from Leavenworth who's a veteran. And it, is your friend here with She's a veteran? Okay. Uh, Sharon is a retired master sergeant? First, first sergeant. And uh, we, uh, I work for her at the VFW up in Leavenworth uh, on occasion. We met at Luigi's up in Leavenworth. And uh, just have a lot of great respect for her. And uh, this is a special dedication for sharing here tonight. Um, and I, I, I was, I'm a veteran. Uh, I spent four years in the Navy. And uh, I have a, a part of me that's uh, very patriotic. And I thought, I want to do this song that's, uh, if I could do one song, to any crowd or any group, I would probably do this next song. It's a song called What America Means to Me. <clears throat> Oh 
God bless all of you for, for taking part in this show. And uh, I'm not going to wait 25 years before I do another concert like this. <laughs>
thank you. I'm, I'm very touched um, <laughs> tremendously. Um, this is a, uh, a song that I, one of my uh, first very serious songs that I wrote, uh, and it was originally on the program, and I decided that uh, I had to try to cut the program down, but uh, so I decided I was, since you're doing an encore, I want to do this. And um, <coughs> this was a song called Veterans Day, and I wrote this on November 12th, 1987. And I was watching the news, and uh, President Reagan at the time had gone to c commemorate uh, the wall, the Vietnam Wall Memorial. And uh, it snowed heavily that day in Washington, D.C., and he said, um, I never, uh, the, the veterans never took a day off, and I'm not either. And that really struck me, and so <coughs> I went home and I wrote this song, and I imagined a father going back to the Vietnam Wall and seeing his son's name on the wall. So this is a tune called Veterans Day and it's subtitled In Memory of John Davis. <coughs> in your eyes The last thing I heard you say You told your mother be please don't cry When basic was over You got orders to go to Nam Some outpost to the border Fighting Viet Congs well, you were just a boy five months before, but now you are groomed for hell. Son, we really miss you. Did you ever get our mail? One day a man in a uniform drove up. I thought it was you. Then I realized it wasn't, and then he had some bad news well some captain said that you were not alone when your post was overrun he said you went down fighting shots were fired from your gun I don't know anymore what has gotten into this world where people play the fools while some politician rules They can launch an attack But nothing they do is gonna bring it back but Now you're dead and gone And your name is on the stone In memory of John Davis I hope you're doing fine I know you are in heaven I knew it all the time With a special thought on Veterans Day I read your name upon the stone With 60,000 more men Who never made it home Oh, it's such a travesty Can we see the light? Can we work out our problems, or do we always have to fight? Or do millions of our flesh and blood have to pay the price for some government's inability to follow good advice? I don't know anymore what has gotten world where people play the fools and some politician rules 
They can launch an attack, but nothing they do is gonna bring you back. Cause now you're dead and gone, and your name is on the stone. In memory of John Davis, it's time to say goodbye. I know you never wanted to see your old man cry But as time goes on I'll wish you more and more With each passing day God bless my son, my soldier On this Veterans Day Bless you guys. Thank you.